All right, so we're back here on Loyalty TV Studios, Daily Dose of News, and I didn't say I'm going to And don't just like, share, and subscribe. Now, they be here for updates on Embro back to back entertainment and then sports. Today, we're still talking about Ken Nazel. Yes, the king of pornography. For the past four years, the gentleman has been making a name for himself. But to most Ghanaians, they got to know him after he commented about a post from Paul's Ghana on Twitter. Saying that he can make sugar titi orgasm, yes. Also, we have a sugar titi when you orgasm just a back to back and then your mic can get home and then a home seven. The brain, ah, yeah, it be air to him. And you see, sugar titi, no, and I and several by a bear back and forth. And a sugar titi castle on one a kind of see I'm basso now in an interview with the Zion Felix and I be sound say so far he said he started a porn four years ago. I mean, see, I'm not saying any normal that, and I will act in a zero for can. I'm not hundred. Porn star power for the past four years, hundred pe. Now my boys be wah minimum, me 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 boys kaka one two be wah. Boys be wah me a minimum wah. Me kasa me come body count a minimum. Boys be wah even four years na you call investing in kwa from JIG to University of Ghana to UPSA. To a crack technical university, KNUST, UCC, and we are going to make a clear guess. So, the same boys, you know, and we have a calculation of Boma four years in university, and we have a pro hundred. And the fucking as well, porn star to sucking as well, so already a hundred women, and I will to me, and your mother, that's the way young system no move top or no says it from Sana, and when it comes to says it from one age, you can see it from Sana, and I can and the two dry area and one seven no air bro and on the other could see the interview because Ken Nazel said that on him by hundred and then and that sounds so and we try close to three hundred pornographic movies like I said me see the day a more for year power maybe one seven air bro and it's a couple and I'm a bass have a catch up in summer or the two dry if I should get it how many years have you been doing this I mean shooting adults movie Okay, I've been shooting adult films now for about four and a half years. Mm -hmm. uh, I, started in, I started in the industry in January of 2019, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. For the past four and few months that you've been doing this job, how many women have you slept with? The past couple of months? No, for the past four years that you've been do doing this job. Uh, okay, how many okay. women? Have you done it with? How many women have you slept with? I would say probably over a hundred. Okay. okay. And how many movies have you shot? Uh, probably two or three hundred. Okay. Uh, so you, that means you repeat the women at times. Yes. Yes. Sometimes. Sometimes we we uh, uh, shoot multiple videos. Yes. Okay. Um, do you guys do checkouts before you go into the act, or you just meet the person? They bring the person. You guys start shooting. No, we absolutely get checked up. Um, that's that's a, a mandatory requirement of, of me as well as many other uh, production studios and and houses in the adult film industry. Uh, there, there are some companies that in, in the United States, I'm not sure about other countries. I'm sure other countries have, have, other, um, have other ways of going about it. But in the United States, um, we utilize uh, 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 different uh, companies. Uh, we have Clear. Um, we have uh, Tablet Testing. Um, but uh, Clear is, is currently past certified. So that's why um, I personally choose to uh, go to clear as opposed to go to talent testing and, and pass uh, pass uh, being pass certified is, is very important um, because it, 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 it they pretty much govern that that aspect of the the industry and make sure that all performers and everybody's safety um, is, is is you know a priority and that outbreaks as far as um, uh, sexually transmitted diseases and sexually transmitted infections, are um, tracked and and um, you know every, everybody is is known known <clears throat> excuse me is aware of what's going on. So have we done it with a guy before? I'm sorry. Have we done it with a guy before? No, no. I'm I'm a straight heterosexual man. I, I don't have sex with men. 
Okay. Um, has All right, so this is what Ken Nazir said, but on whether she... Uh, so this is what Ken Nazir said in that interview with Zion Felix. She, he was asked whether it is true that she was, he was rude to uh, Sugar Titi or not. And all the two just say it's true that he was rude. And up to now, he think that he could have gone about the whole issue in a different way. But he thought Sugar Titi was messing with his business. He was serious with the thing, and I said, Sugar Titi, no, I draw any sound no one, and I wouldn't know. So, it's a good thing, some sound, some no swa. A year, a can I say the two dry a ban at two or so now, the seven in a half. It happened essentially within that time frame, and I was again under a lot of pressure from the public and um, putting pressure on myself as well to essentially be ready for if she was serious. Um, and uh, you know, I, I, I wanted I, I wanted it to happen, and I was essentially getting frustrated with the fact that I felt like um, she was playing around. Um, she was mentioning, uh, should she, you know, link up with me or use a sex toy? Uh, should she link up with me or link up with her alleged uh, ex boyfriend or whomever she had mentioned? I'm not I'm not sure who God was. Um, um, you know, she was. Uh, going back and forth with me on Twitter, but not giving any kind of confirmation that she was actually going to follow through. And you know, me as I, I, this is my business. This is this is my my career and my passion. So I take I take my work seriously. You know, I don't I don't do this for publicity. I, I'm not trying to you know do like publicity stunts or anything like this. Like this is my literal work. And so um, I was a little bit. Uh, frustrated with the fact that I didn't feel like she was she was taking this at least as seriously as I was, but I was a lot of, a lot of energy, and I was allowing the, the the public and my fan base to, to essentially buy into it, and and uh, you know potentially look at this as something that could actually happen, but you know she I I I, I don't know you you might know better than I can I didn't get the impression that. She really, she really was taking this thing serious, and I, I wasn't getting the impression that she, she wanted. But to... did you, did, you, did did you research about her before putting in the request? Did I research her? Eh, uh, yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm not a follower of hers. Um, I didn't really know that much. About and to wait, and the bro on this episode of the Daily Doses of News right here on Loyalty TV Studios with Ken Nazel saying that he has slept with 100 ladies, 100 women, and he has starred in over 300 pornographic movies and the brain. But, I say, he was very disappointed, say, I took a bow to the person who got it, and she said, I took a bow to the end to me, Amber. So, I saw him here, he was looking because he was looking forward to it, because the bars around it, you know, as a porn star and as, as an actor, no, can be to me about the career here. But by saying that you got it, no, not doing your at a point you got it. But capturing someone two million dollars and saying that but no, no, you got it, no. She doesn't deserve two million dollars. You know, and as how we know, I'm basso. You don't want something in April. So subscribe to this channel, like and share. Send a via Loyalty TV Studios. Whenever we drop a content, no, we be to me a hoodie echo. So my name is Joel Shen, and as usual, we will definitely meet again on this platform. Thank <laughs> you.